Oh, hi, I'm Mark, your new art teacher. I'm very thankful that you're now a part of the art school program, and I hope that you're as excited as I am to dive into the wonderful world of the arts. My goal with the program is to help teach you all the fundamentals and the more advanced notions that you'll need to draw anything your mind can imagine, and ultimately build the best possible portfolio. Some of you will be starting their art education from scratch. Some of you will be coming into the program with more experience, maybe a lot of experience. Regardless of the group you fit in, I am confident that you'll see incredible improvement by the time you've completed it. I wanted to make this program introduction video for two main reasons. First, as a quick guide on how to best tackle it, how to best follow the classes and study for them. And second, to explain the personal project that you'll be working on later in the program. More specifically, how to approach it and eventually hand it in to get your program certificate of completion. Quickly, before we get into that though, make sure you check out the PDF document that I included with the program to find a link to the school forums and the Discord server. We have an awesome community full of helpful people. When you contribute and engage in a positive way, everyone is usually happy to reciprocate. It's not a one-way street though. Think of it more as being in a real school environment with real classmates. You're there to help each other out and build long lasting connections. Many of my past students, for example, have gone on to work professionally, start long-term projects together, even start their own companies, offering freelance services. The community aspect is a big part of learning art and reaching your goals. Many of your student peers will likely become your future coworkers, so make sure you don't neglect that part of your art journey. So anyways, how should you start studying for the art school program? What's the best way to go through the material and get the most out of it? Well, art school for digital artists is a big program. I compare it to a full college or university art education for a reason. We'll cover a lot of different topics, many of which will need a good amount of applied practice to fully digest. So I'll typically recommend you take around two years to complete the whole program, including the time that you'll spend on your personal project. This will obviously be pretty different depending on how much time you can dedicate to art every day and you know what kind of experience you have going into it. It's just a very rough average. This will translate to around two to three months per term with an average pace of like three to four hours of classes and or practice every day. If you do more or less of that, you should be able to estimate better the time that it'll take you personally to go through it all. Again, just a very rough average. It's not a race though, it's a marathon. It's kind of like growing a plant. You can give it fertilizer, water, and sunlight, you know, everything that it needs. But if there's too much of any of it, the plant dies. Don't overdo it. Just make sure you take mini breaks throughout your study sessions to let your focus enough time to recharge. The last thing you want is to burn out because you're going at it too hard. Even if you're having fun, pace yourself. Now, when going through the classes, I believe you'll get much better results if you go into it with an open mind and don't skip content. A great deal of thought went into the structure of the program, and I think it's primarily that structure that makes it work so well. From experience, most professional artists have big gaps in their art fundamentals, so there is a lot to learn or relearn regardless of how experienced you are going into the program. Of course, some of you will be able to go through the content a lot faster than others, but still, don't skip. I'm watching you. Just kidding, do whatever you want. It's just my recommendation. Finally then, what's the personal project all about? As you probably know, you'll get a certificate when you complete the program, but what do you actually have to do to complete the program? That's where the personal project comes in. Starting at term seven, you'll start working on your personal project, which will involve creating a total of 15 portfolio pieces. The personal project classes in the program will explain all of that in great detail later, but it's that project, that portfolio of 15 pieces that you'll be submitting to me for review. Once you get there, just message me a Google Drive link, a Dropbox folder or a website, you know, whatever you prefer, and I'll either give you feedback on it if needed or send you your glorious signed certificate showing that you've successfully completed the program. Even better than the certificate though, which has no more value than an art degree if we're being honest here, aka nice to have but next to worthless on the marketplace. By then, you should have an awesome portfolio to serve as your art passport for any future work opportunities that um, you might be interested in. A good body of work showing off your newly acquired art skills. Very exciting. And with that, let's get to the content. I wish you many art level ups in the coming weeks and months. And uh, well, I can't wait to check out your personal projects.
Let's get started.